what's up y'all it's your girl queen j welcome back to my vlog channel so today of course i'm not really vlogging if i'm in the kitchen and it's 7 34 at night but what i am doing is cooking so i figured you know said i want to get back on my channel and really make this a thing like i really want to do this youtube thing so record 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 whoever likes you's gonna like you somebody's gonna watch you it's hella people on youtube and you know what i'm saying somebody's gonna like me somebody's gonna love all of this so can y'all tell my face got smaller since the last video ah! well since the birthday video for my best friend the last video i was you know i lost 14 pounds y'all 14 pounds 30 more to go 30 more to go and look 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 oh your girl look yeah i've been doing it I've been doing it. I've been doing the damn thing. So, period. So today, I wanted to try something a little bit different. I'm cooking Alfredo. I know you're probably like, girl, different. Pause. I cook Alfredo all the time. I'm a pasta lover. That's one of my favorite dishes. Anytime you say pasta, I'm a want it. But I'm gonna be using salmon this time instead of chicken Alfredo. So I cut up some salmon into some little square pieces. I got me some fresh shrimp got me some instead of getting instead of getting fettuccine noodles i had to get linguine which are a little bit camera which is a little bit thinner or smaller but that's okay we're gonna make it do what it do they had only gluten free and y'all um i'm not i'm not that healthy yet um i like all my gluten and all my fat whenever i decide to eat my food so i haven't reached that point of health yet but yeah ignore my mess but yeah so i decided to go ahead and give that a try and do some salmon shrimp and fetish salmon shrimp and broccoli that's what i'm missing broccoli alfredo now i did cheat with the broccoli um i already had some frozen broccoli so yeah well we, we, yeah no but i didn't feel like doing extra with the broccoli so frozen broccoli gonna go right in the microwave but everything else I'm doing from basically scratch. So I went ahead and cut up my salmon into some squares, as you can see. And I have the fresh shrimp here, nice big pieces of shrimp that I went ahead and cleaned and deveined, took all the little doodle -doo nasty stuff out. So I have my two pans here for the salmon and the shrimp, and I have my water going for the fettuccine, the linguine noodles. I'm so used to using fettuccine. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get y'all to see as much as y'all can, but literally every eye on the stove is already hot. So what I'm not trying to do is burn anything with my camera. But okay, gotta get the butter. Put that in there. And it was already heating up, so as you can see, it's a little hot. Well, it's going kind of fast, so I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit to medium heat. And the same thing with the back one because they were already on. And I'm gonna put some butter. Got a little trash bag over here. I'm gonna put some butter in the back as well for my salmon and my shrimp. And we're just gonna create a little pool of butter. So while the rest of that butter melts, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some salt in my water. Let's see, let's see. Put salt in my water for my noodles. And I like to do a little trick that my best friend taught me, my bestest bitch. If you've seen the vlog of me surprising her for her birthday, you know what I'm talking about. Put a little olive oil in there so your noodles don't stick together and they don't stick to the bottom. And then I also actually season my water as well. So you know you gotta season every part of the meal because if not it just ain't gonna taste right so ooh, ooh, just got that everywhere i'll clean that up a little bit of oregano some parsley just down down for a second some parsley i don't do too too much with the noodles because of course it's going to end up being added to the rest of the food but i do like to season it a little bit some oregano i mean italian seasoning oregano parsley and just to add a little bit of flavor i'll do some garlic powder 
So that's what my water is looking like for my noodles. So I'm gonna let that go ahead and boil. And while that's boiling, I'm gonna get started on my salmon and my shrimp, which I feel like I'm gonna need a little more butter because, you know, if you watch DKFOL, which Rip, I'm sorry, I'm gonna edit that out. If you watch the era and or Ken, cause y'all know they're no longer together, sad, but life goes on. But it make it taste better, so. I'm not gonna say it, cause y'all not gonna come to me like, oh, you try to steal their stuff. Like, no, I've been a fan of them since the beginning. But they weren't lying when they said butter make it taste better, cause it does. So, I pretty much use a stick of butter for between the both of them. So, half for my salmon, half for my shrimp. All right, y'all, so I got my Lowry's. I got some accent salt. Old Bay, cause it, this what is shrimp without Old Bay. I'm gonna put this on my salmon as well. I have some garlic salt. I have some garlic powder, parsley, Italian seasoning. It's not really focusing, but y'all get the point. And some oregano. So I'm gonna use all these seasonings. The ones that have more of a salt base to them, I'm only going to put a little bit because of course it's gonna to be too salty. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do my shrimp. I think I'm gonna do my shrimp in the small one. Cause they are big pieces. But feel like my salmon is gonna take up a little bit more space. Either way, we're gonna get it cooking. Now I know with the shrimp, I gotta really watch it cause y'all know shrimp cooks extremely fast. And I don't want it to dry out because I'm still gonna end up putting everything in a pot all together and letting it simmer so all those flavors melt together and it just gets nice and good and juicy. Oh yeah, I forgot one ingredient, y'all. My favorite thing to add, some crushed red pepper flakes. If you don't put no crushed red pepper flakes in your food, what are you doing? So while I got the shrimp in there, I'm gonna go real fast. Add my salmon. Like I told y'all, I cut this into squares. Or little cubes, what have you. Oh, if it wanna come apart. We just gonna toss them in there for right now. Oh, back on the other side. We'll eventually get this all separated, but I don't want the other pieces to start cooking real fast. Oh, it's just over. Cause I'm trying to go fast, y'all. And not burn myself. Okay. So let me hurry up and season it. Cause as you can see, the shrimp is already starting to turn pink. This means it is not gonna be long before it's done.
go ahead and add my linguine because the water is piping hot, boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. I usually add the whole entire thing and I just eat on it for a few days because it's just me. But I might do a little more than half and I don't break my noodles. I like my noodles to stay whole. And then I just let them kind of sink in. See, that's why I say I normally use most of it because it ain't nothing left. But yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with my salmon. I'm not gonna have to be too rough because salmon falls apart easily. Oh yeah, okay, no. I'm trying to be quick, y'all, but salmon is not the same as shrimp. I'm gonna cut this shrimp off immediately and just let it sit the rest of the way. And I'm gonna flip these over as best as I can. Y'all see that shrimp? See y'all see that shrimp? Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. What the sh oh y'all, it smells heavenly in here. Like just that fast, it smells so good. And this shrimp is so good. All right, so now my noodles have softened up enough for me to get them down in the pot. So, I got the noodles going. Y'all can see all the seasonings on top. It's gonna make it taste so good. Like I said, it's not like it just makes, you know, oh my gosh, seasoned noodles is such a dramatic difference. No, but you can definitely taste the difference. I'll tell you that. Different than just putting salt in there. So the shrimp is done. The eye is pretty much cooled off, but ooh, y'all. Hold on. Look how good it looks, y'all, and it smells so good. It smells so good. Just look at look at that. Beautifully pink shrimp. Beautiful. Like I said, I could have added a little more butter. I normally do, but beautiful. The salmon is going. That's almost done because they both cook fast. You don't want to overcook either one of them. So make sure you keep an eye on it. I'm not just a, just an expert cooker or anything, but like I told y'all in the video when I surprised my best friend for her birthday, a girl, your girl know how to throw down in the kitchen, okay? Your girl knows how to throw down in the kitchen. So when I tell you this stuff, I'm telling you this because I know. And because I want you to succeed in the kitchen too. I'm trying to debate if I want to go ahead and put some of this garlic toast in the oven, y'all, and just really just do it on out. I might go ahead and do that, but I'm going to flip this salmon back over one more time for the pieces that didn't get flipped or cooked the same way on the other side and remove that off the heat because salmon and shrimp, cook like that. As soon as the noodles get done, y'all, I've been putting in work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've been putting in work. Do you hear me? Work. Do you? Work. Work, baby. Work. Do you see this body? Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy,
I got the little crisp on the edge that I like too. Okay, yeah. I don't want to taste my shrimp because there's not that many pieces and I love me some shrimp, y'all. So, I'm gonna leave that alone because as soon as I taste that, I already know I'm finna eat the whole pot. So, I'm gonna let that shrimp sit. But yeah, got the salmon done. Y'all see that? It would look so good. Y'all see that? Do you see that? Oh my goodness. Look at the shrimp. Oh my God. Y'all look so good. I can't wait. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that toast in the oven while I'm waiting on these noodles. Noodles. Now watch. They done been sitting for a little second. You know, noodles stick fast with that olive oil in there, right? Look at that. Ain't nothing sticking. Y'all see that? None of that. Ain't none of that sticking. None of that sticking. Do you hear me? I ain't gonna lie. It was one at the bottom. But it was just one. <laughs> so these should be done in about a minute or two. I'm gonna taste one. You gotta taste your cooking. You gotta taste your cooking. Because if it's not good to you, why would you serve it to somebody else? Make it make sense. About two minutes. Just that I forgot I was zoomed in. I was like, why the hell? Yeah, so close. Okay, about two more minutes on the noodles. And we gonna let all this marry together. But while we waiting on them two minutes to go by, I'm gonna get this toast out the freezer and we are gonna pop that in there. Just stop recording when it wants to, I don't understand. Y'all see how that good seasoning on top of there? Mm-hmm. Hey, look, one noodle. Well, it's one right here too, but it didn't, it wasn't stuck, I just had to grab it. So, if you haven't tried cooking them with olive oil, try that for me. All right, so I just shake these around and get the excess water off. Look how easily they shake around. You know, normally it's all stuck together. Y'all, that olive oil really helps. Y'all, <coughs> I'm inhaling some of the smoke. <laughs> Okay. So now, remember I told y'all I left that eye in the back on medium. So guess what we about to do? Marry all this together. Actually, pause. I keep forgetting my broccoli, y'all. Move all my season is out the way because I still have to season one more time. I know y'all probably like, girl, your food gonna be salty. No, watch and see. What did I tell you? Cause it's gonna be the bus. Okay, I told y'all I'm cheating on the broccoli today. Already seasoned. Simply, what is this? Simply steamed broccoli. You just set it up in the microwave like this. Five minutes. I think I'm still using my bigger pot because that's what I'm used to and that's what I like. So I'm gonna throw that on the stove and it's not much bigger. But as y'all can see, it is bigger than the noodle pot. So this is the one I usually use when I marry everything together. Another nonstick pan. So, you know, that definitely comes in handy. So I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit. It's no secret to letting this heat up a little bit. I just, I always leave that eye on so when I marry them together it's already ready to start bubbling and simmering everything together but it doesn't make it any <laughs> tasty or anything like that that's just what I like to do so when I put it all in there together it's already starting to bubble and simmer versus you waiting 10-15 minutes for it to get hot enough to simmer because you know simmering you put it on really low so I have it between about let me see if y'all can see that. Three and four, and once it starts to bubble, I'll put it up to between two and three because as you can see, simmer is right up here, so. And everything's already cooked, so we're not cooking anything right now. We're just putting them all together, letting all the flavors come together, marry, and just be happy. So I'm waiting on this broccoli, three minutes and 22 seconds left to go. And we're gonna put everything together. So I'm gonna put all of my 
seasonings up except for my oregano, Italian seasoning, my parsley, focus, focus, y'all know what it is, my parsley, and my red pepper flakes. I told y'all I love my herbs, and when you put it all together, the herbs just really help everything marry together, so. If you wanna try this, do it like this. Y'all know how we get down. Y'all know how we get down. And when I say we, y'all know exactly what the I mean. <laughs> Not saying that y'all can't cook, but y'all know how we get down. Everything gotta be seasoned. The water, the meat, the noodles, everything, the pot, the kitchen sink, all that gotta be seasoned, honey, or else who ain't eating it? We ain't eating it. We ain't eating it. So, okay. Yeah, I do this every time because I like when it's real high. And then, like, I can't even do the fake puff no more because my hair done got so long, which is not a bad thing. I freaking love it. But at this point, it's just a scrunchie. Like, I can't even do the fell puff because it just done got too long. So, you know, skin coming together, body coming together, hair coming together. Like, y'all, it's finna be lit, lit, litty. When I get this money together, tattoos is getting finished and getting done. Like, y'all, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm just, I'm loving getting myself together, loving me. Y'all seen I said I was going to start painting in a video when, period, pimple coming in, y'all. I was going to start painting in the first video or the last video when I surprised my best friend for her birthday. I have already done this wall. So yay, because this br ugly brown has got to go. I still gotta do a second coat up there, finish this, pull out the fridge, put some paint behind there. I gotta pull out the stove, paint behind there. I gotta paint the cabinets, cause it's an ugly off-white cover, cover color. Gotta get rid of these ugly curtains. Paint the cabinets, paint the black backsplash, and I'm gonna put some marble contact paper on my counters, and I'm gonna put the marble contact paper on my table as well so it can all flow through. I'm gonna paint the legs white, y'all. See the paint on the floor? It's gonna be so pretty, and I'm gonna decorate with pink, gold, and rose gold accents. It may not necessarily be all three colors in every room because it's gonna be the flow throughout my entire house because my bathroom shower curtain has marble on it. My desk in my bedroom has the marble on it. So it's going to be the theme throughout the whole house, but you know, a little different flavor in every room. So yeah, okay. So as y'all just heard, the broccoli is done. So, Make sure my eye ain't hot where I'm sitting this down because this tripod that I'm currently using is plastic. I'm going to marry everything together in my pot. So first, I'm gonna dump in my noodles. And because as you can hear, it's already warmed up, I like to go ahead Oh, and the oven's ready. Y'all heard that, it's time for the toast, but as y'all can see, it's already warmed up. So instead of burning my noodles, I like to go right ahead and get my Alfredo sauce in there. So that way I don't burn my noodles and they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. And I always put a little bit of water in the bottom. Y'all grab the rest of that Alfredo sauce. Ain't no wasting around here. Start with adding two. Usually I can use about three, three and a half, but that's because I just really like mine to be nice and creamy. I hate, I hate, I hate dry pasta. I hate when I go out somewhere and they don't give you enough sauce. I hate when I go to somebody's house and they don't give you enough sauce. Like, why would you do that? Just explain to me why. So I'm going to dump my shrimp in there. And no, I'm not dumping out none of that butter. Cause guess what? That's flavor, baby, flavor. And because my noodles are still sitting on the bottom, I'm just gonna move it around some. Cause like I said, you don't want it to stick. Ooh, y'all, I 
y'all, that looks mm, all ready. Now my salmon is probably going to break up some because y'all know how soft salmon is. But I'm just gonna try not to stir too hard with the salmon in there. Or at least try not to get it caught up in the spoon. So we just gonna kind of fold it in. Oh my God, it looks so good. It was five packs. Shh, -na 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 -na. That juice hit my finger. <laughs> it was five packs in my freezer, so guess who wasn't gonna let them five packs go to waste? Me. So now, everything's in the pot. I'm gonna take my tongs, and like I said, still try to be very careful because, all right, you can shut up. I still do want to taste my pieces of salmon. I don't want them to just be the mop. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Like, let me zoom y'all in. Hold on. Okay, my bad. I hit stop on the camera on accident. So yeah, I just need y'all to see how good that looks. I got the shrimp. I got the broccoli. Oh, I forgot to take a picture of it separately while I was cooking. Jesus, it's for my Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it'll be in the description box below. Oh, I forgot to take my picture. Dang it. So, like I said, I like mine creamy. So, I feel like I can add a little more Alfredo. But before I do that, the oven did beat. So, I'm going to take my... Texas toast and pop that right on in the oven until it gets nice and crispy on top but still a little soft in the middle. That's how I like it. I'm gonna add a little bit more Alfredo. I might as well add the whole thing but hold on, let's see. Now the reason why I told y'all to keep those seasonings out is because although, oh my God, it looks so good. Oh my God, I gotta bring all that to the top. Do y'all see that? Girl! Oh. Oh. Ooh! The reason why I told y'all to keep all those seasonings out is because the Alfredo is not seasoned. Contrary to what you believe, it ain't seasoned. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of my parsley on top. And I'm not going in with like my seasonings, like I told y'all that have the salt and all that seasoning all and all that in there. Cause we have enough salt in here already. But just a little herbs to give it some flavor. Cause that of Alfredo, Ella, Alfredo seasoning is not seasoned. Look at that, it's straight white. Ain't nothing in there. It ain't seasoned. And I like my food with some flavor, okay? I'm gonna add some oregano. Cause you want all of this to just marry in together. And I'm gonna add my Italian seasoning. And Italian seasoning has some really good flavor to it too. So I'm gonna add all that in there. And I'm gonna add just a smidge. Cause we already seasoned the shrimp and the salmon with this separately. Just a dash of some more red pepper flakes. Cause I like a little kick with my food. And then we gone, baby. Oh God. It just, it does something to my soul. If you didn't believe in God before, you will when you eat this food. You will when you watch this channel and you see how he transformed me. Period. That's what ha 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 That's a word for somebody. All right, for real, let me stop playing. Cause God gonna be like, and now you doing too much. <laughs> Ooh, do y'all see how good this looks? You can't tell me your girl don't know how to throw down. Regardless of my broccoli being frozen or not. You can't tell me that don't look good. And you know how you know you use a lot of Alfredo? Cause you got that little puddle on the side. 
So I'm gonna add, might as well just add the rest of this cause saving it is for what? So since I added some more, you know what I gotta do. I gotta season it. So I'm not gonna go in with any more red pepper flakes cause like I told y'all that little bit will add a good little kick. But I'm gonna add some more oregano. I'm gonna add some more Italian seasoning. And I'm gonna add some more parsley. Cause it makes a difference when that Alfredo is seasoned and when it's not. It makes a huge difference. I promise you, if you haven't tried it before, please try it now. Cause before I really was like experienced in cooking and like I said, I don't just know how to cook everything, but before I was cooking for myself like that, I didn't season my Alfredo and it changed my life the first time I did it and I haven't gone back since. And y'all would think I'm cooking for a village. It's just me, it's just me. <laughs> but I'm gonna eat off this for the next few days and I won't have to cook no more until later on this week. What's tomorrow, Wednesday? I won't cook again until by Friday or Saturday. Look at that. Oopsies. So what I'm gonna do is just let this sit until it simmers. So y'all know it get a little bubbling. You see it's already smoking. We are gonna take that bread out the oven and it's gonna be litty. All right y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my dishes, clean off my stove, my counter, and I'm gonna come back to y'all and show y'all the finished product on plate cause you already know it's finna be great. All right y'all, the bread is out the oven. It's all nice and merry together. I just wanted to come on the camera so y'all could see how beautiful this masterpiece is. I'm gonna just twist it around so it all stays together. I'm gonna go in and grab my broccoli. Y'all, it smells so heavenly in my kitchen. My salmon. Oh, it smells so freaking good. Like, of course I make Alfredo all the time, like I told y'all, but it's different because I tried it with salmon and it just smells so good. Where am I shrimp and my broccoli at? Probably not even gonna eat all this. <laughs> My appetite has decreased tremendously since I've been losing weight, but I had to get it all on the plate for y'all. Get one more piece of shrimp because we like even numbers over here in our eye. Ooh, y'all look at that. I'm gonna get a piece of bread and pop it on the side. Oh, I done did it again. Look at how good. Uh, you can't tell me y'all don't want to eat this. You can't tell me y'all don't want to eat this. Oh my goodness. My mouth is watering through the camera. Oh, look at that salmon. Look at that shrimp. The broccoli, the bread. Oh, y'all. It's one of my favorite things to cook, Alfredo. And now that I've tried it with some a different type of meat, I'm like even more excited. Let me try to get this set up without burning nothing. I don't know. Taste it for y'all so I can go. get the shrimp. It's perfectly good. Mmm. You hear that crunch in the bread? Ah! I done did it again. Woo! Yeah. Please try this at home. 
It's simple, but it's so good. All right, y'all. I gotta go fall in love with my food. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, so another friend to do the same dang on thing. And I will see y'all in the next video. Oh my God, bye.